<laughs> so this evening, uh, I have the, the pleasure of talking about uh, somebody who I have grown uh, to be very fond of over uh, these past two summers. Um, you know, I had some, some really, really great guys in the, the first two years um, that I was a part of this group. Um, and at that point, you know, you, you feel like you've sort of reached a pinnacle. Um, but there, there are so many things you can learn over, over your time here, in this group especially. And uh, tonight I'll be, I'll be talking about uh, Mr. Mike Hubbard, uh, who, my first summer, uh, well rather his first summer, um, uh, I was, it was my second year as business manager and you know, I was, I was stressed, I was just, you know, so uh, overwhelmed, I feel with a lot of things and me and, um, Mike and I butted heads a lot because he, he has this, 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 yeah exactly, you look at him right now. <laughs> He has this disposition about him that is very just, it's happy, it's, it's very happy-go-lucky, you know, except if you catch him in the morning, but, you know, like within the first hours of waking up, you want to avoid it, because he's just, he's very cranky, but um, <laughs> once he, you know, he either gets coffee or he sort of just, you know, busts out of that little shell, you know, he is uh, a fantastic guy. Um, I, you know, I'm sad because he is moving uh, to New York, um, he's been in Boston for the past um, three years or so. And uh, just as I am uh, starting my Boston journey, he is, is, is moving on from that. Um, but I felt as, this, as though this summer um, I've gotten to know Mike uh, so much better. And I think that's the beauty of, of the second summer that people have in this group where you, you, know, you fully understand what they're all about. And I can, I can truly say that, that Mike has, has become one of my, my very, very good friends. And it's... It's hard for me to think that, you know, that the next summer where I won't be coming back to the group and he most likely won't either, um, that we'll be in different places when uh, I know the incredible times we've shared together. Um, and I think I've, I've, some of the hardest I've laughed uh, this summer is, is with Mike. He has this, this laugh that honestly can make you, you know, if, even if you are in the worst of moods, you know, he'll just, he'll just start dying laughing and you have no other choice but to start with him. <laughs> I, I remember a time when uh, Dan Spector bought a little helicopter, and we, we had so much fun with this thing, and it was, it was one night after the show, Mike was just flying this thing around, and just screaming like a little child, and, just, and it's, it, you know, it, it is truly one of the, the, the most amazing things that I've, that I've you know, learned from is just to, to take every day and just, you know, enjoy it and, and learn along the way. Mike is also one of the, the most intelligent people that I know. He has, you know, so much about so many things and he is happy to impart that, uh, that wisdom on other people and I'm really, really happy to have, have been able to, you know, take away as much as I can from, from Mike Hubbard and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a couple things, um, some of which are along the same lines as other things that people have given, but I promise we didn't do it together. Um, so Mike uh, oftentimes worries, you know, that he might be spending too much money, um, or you know, you know, the Chipotle burritos are should only be eaten once a day. But, <laughs> so as, as he moves in, I guess Frommers is a theme tonight. Um, this is the New York City free and dirt cheap guy. <laughs> Six free events, attractions, and classes, and more that he can, uh, you know, take with him, and and you start that journey in New York. So you know, he can, All right. you know just be free and, and dirt cheap like he likes to be. Uh, so uh, Mike is a, a big fan of, um, of superheroes, and he, we were so happy to be able to sing a song that he uh, that he wrote this summer. So I, I bought him a little booklet here, um, you know, that has the Hulk and the Spider-Man and yes. some other guy, I have no idea, Wolverine maybe. And I'm thinking that the next, you know, Mike Hubbard hit will be written in this book. And I, you know, I, I want to, you know, just give that to you and wish that it's filled up with all your wonderful thoughts and lyrics. Um, let's continue here. Mike has, a, Mike has a thing of overreacting a lot to, uh, especially the physical pain. And... <laughs> Um, so he, he always, you know, says that we need to call the ambulance. Um, so uh, in, in amongst these other cars, here is a little bit of an ambulance. Um, um, so you know, you can have that with you. You can't call it anymore. So. And um, finally, uh, Mike has had an issue this summer, um, oddly enough, with like with chemical burns. Um, so. Uh, 
my house, um, and I've yet to see it, so I'm actually going to keep this. Um, <laughs>